Warning, sodium hydroxide is corrosive and can burn and blind you. Protective gear must be worn at all times when working with and around this chemical. In this video, I'll be making manganese dioxide from manganese sulfate and sodium hydroxide. You will need two beakers, something to mix with, filtration setup, some gloves, and some eye protection. I found this manganese sulfate in the fertilizer section of my local hardware store. I will be using 50 grams of manganese sulfate, which I will be dissolving it in 200 mils of water. It should be pretty easy for the manganese sulfate to dissolve. Next, I will be using 26 grams of sodium hydroxide, which is found in the cleaning aisle under drain cleaner. I am using cold water for, for this as sodium hydroxide heats up a lot when in contact with water. It should easily dissolve into solution by giving it a small mix. After the two chemicals have dissolved, you should be left with two clear solutions. Pour one into the other and immediately you should see a whitish pink precipitate of manganese hydroxide form. Give it a stir to thoroughly mix the two chemicals together. Manganese hydroxide decomposes to manganese dioxide on contact with oxygen when moist. You can see this in action by letting it sit for a couple of minutes. After letting it sit for 5 minutes, it is time to filter it. I'm just using paper towel at the moment as I don't have any funnels with me. It is much harder to get the filter paper to stay where it is when more and more precipitate is weighing it down. This filtrates very slowly. i have done this before and it took days just to filter it, which was alright because it already started to decompose into what we want. To get it fully decomposed, spread it out onto a flat surface while it is still wet. Just remove most of the water first so when it is not runny and just leave it in the sun for a few days. This is what it looks like after it has been left in the sun for a couple of days. I had to constantly mix it while it was drying to make sure I got all of it decomposed. This batch is still impure. I just laid out what was caught up in the filter paper. For proper use, filter it a few times to get rid of any soluble material. I will be using this in a future video to make manganese metal in a thermite reaction. If you like my video, please give it a like and share my video around.